Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series. It's great to be here. I hope your day is off to a wonderful start. We are back on the farm today here, folks. It is mid-spring. It is a Sunday. We got some work to do, so let's get right to work. I think today is probably going to be a day well spent in the mines. But first and foremost, we have some business to, of course, take care of here on the farm. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to jump right into it. So while we're jumping in here, folks, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. Would love to have you in the community. So let's go. So we do learn the coleslaw recipe there. That's very nice. Let's check the spirits today. Somewhat annoyed. Luck not on our side. That's not great. Weather report. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow as well. So kind of a mixed bag there. That's all right. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, mom. She's the best. 500 gold. Absolutely. Let's get the dog pets. First and foremost, Luna. Good girl. Wake up. It's time to chase the squirrels. Looks like we got a green bean there as well. Let's get the chickens taken care of first and foremost. Got the silo going up, which is great. Need that for our hay, of course. Got a few eggs there. Chickens have been pets, and we are good to go. So let's open up that door for them. We want to get this stuff watered as quickly as possible, of course. At the end of the last episode, we did manage to get the strawberry seeds in the earth. That is going to be a very lucrative endeavor here for us. And we're actually going to get two harvests here in spring, so... It'll really inject some income into us, and it'll allow me to do other things like mining. Mining, we're only on level 15. We definitely need to get a little further in the mine. Need to get some more copper. Got to get some tools upgraded, all that good stuff. So let's spend the majority of our day in the mine, but first and foremost, got to get the daily chores done. We'll probably turn in a bundle too. It's Sunday, so we'll check the traveling cart as well. All good things happening today. Alright, let's get these watered up here. Really looking forward to the age of sprinklers, of course. In fact, if we really focus on it, we might be able to kind of lock in some sprinklers here in maybe midsummer. Maybe I might be a little optimistic there, but of course we'll we'll have to kind of just see how it goes. To be honest, I don't even fully remember exactly what the quality sprinkler costs to craft. I, th I think it's iron, maybe like refined quartz, maybe. We'll have to see. But let's get some water down. The crops need the water. That luscious water. And also, sorry about the last episode, folks. I did uh, realize through the editing process that the game audio did not record for whatever reason. Not sure why exactly, but I've done a few tests today to make sure that the audio is good to go. Seems like we're good, so... Again, my apologies. Alright, hopefully we can be to the mine by about 2 p.m. maybe. That also might be a little optimistic, right? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Let's get all this watered up, though. All right, we are watered up. We're good to go. Let's check the traveling cart here. Uh, so first and foremost, let's get our tools set up appropriately. So I need the pickaxe. We have the sword. Rod. We need a hoe. I think I'm okay without the hoe. Let's 
go with some carrots. It's a great snack for the mine, of course. Green bean will sell. If I'm gonna turn in a bundle. So let's turn in our spring crops bundle. Since we have that now. Let's check the traveling cart here quick. Get this sold and then I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Alright, onward we go. Traveling cart. Hopefully there's a red cabbage waiting in the wings for us. We'll see. Really got to clear out this land a little bit, but I want to get that silo up first. And then we can start cutting down this grass for beneficial hay. Alright, traveling carts. What do you have in store today? Well, there's a horseradish here. This one's free on the house. A copper bar, winter seeds, apple sapling, large goat milk, cherry, lead bobber, walleye, a cockle, orange, tiger trout. Okay, I'm not seeing the elusive red cabbage, but they do have a walleye. I believe the walleye is caught during the fall. And it's got to be raining or something. So if we take this, we can actually complete our night fishing bundle. We're going to run by the community center anyways. We might as well. Let's grab a walleye. Everything else can kind of just stay as is. So let's get back. Let's just crush this horseradish here quick. And let's get back and let's get rolling. To the mines we go here. Alright, so let's grab the eel. Let's grab the bream. Got some bread, got some green onions to restore that energy. Also have these very nice carrots here. Plus 75 energy is wonderful. Maybe we can find something good in the trash as well. Maybe. How about that? Got some chocolate chip cookies. That's a great find. Great find in the trash. Now, I do not condone eating out of the trash, of course, folks, but, you know, this is Stardew Valley after all. Alright, so let's get this bundle complete here real quick. So this is the night fishing bundle, the fish tank, of course, the, the night fishing bundle. We do have everything we need in purchasing that walleye. So that will complete the bundle. It will also open up other options in the community center here. And we get the glow ring as a reward. I believe we already have one of those. Looking good there, and you can see... Another room opens up for more rewards. And that is the boiler room, I do believe, which can unlock mine carts. And a lot of the stuff that you need to complete that bundle is right in the mine th that we're headed toward. So let's complete this one as well. This is the spring crops bundle, of course. And we get some speed grow. All right, we'll take that. And this will unlock the bulletin board, I do believe. All right, bulletin board unlocked, and essentially what that does, folks, is it adds other options here for this menu. Boiler room, right? Bulletin board. And the bulletin board, of course, the red cabbage, this is why you need the traveling carts. This is why we check the traveling cart for this red cabbage right here. Everything else you can get in year one, the red cabbage cannot be obtained by any other means. So, that is why we check the traveling cart. Alright. Small glow ring. Just a regular glow, glow ring, excuse me. I guess we'll throw that on. Call it an upgrade. And let's go to the mine. I'd like to get 5, 10 floors done. That might be a little ambitious. We'll see. The spirits are annoyed today. Which means it generally will take you longer to... Oh, 
It'll generally take you longer to find the pathway down. So let's go to elevator level 15 here. Take out this crab man, get a little combat EXP. Definitely looking for some copper. There's a little bit. And you can see the mine has not been favorable to us as far as showing us the way, right? Goodness. Sure hope every floor isn't like this. There's there's the pathway down. And these guys will change into that moth thing. These guys are very annoying. Very loud. Obnoxious. And then we got a new shirt there. I guess we'll take that. That's an interesting little bonus. Talk about a great way to waste some time, but... Our combat efforts do pay off, and we get the staircase there. So here's some copper. We also get a piece of quartz here. You can throw these directly in your furnace to make refined quartz. It's a great way to get some refined quartz. Pretty common here in the early floors of the mine. We have more copper down here. Definitely taking this. Let's see if we can get a jump on these meaty boys here. Oh yeah, we got them. Here is, I believe this is Topaz. Sure is. All right, looks like we got our mining level up. That's very nice. We'll take that. There we go. Another quartz, you bet. More copper. Absolutely. Cave carrot. We'll take that. Take that all day. Copper, let's go. Slime is annoying because it can slow you. And admittedly, fighting off enemies isn't the best use of your time unless you're going for combat experience. We're trying to get some progress on the mine here. We got a little uh, coal cart down here. This is very nice. You right click it and you get a little bonus of coal. Well, you want some too, Mr. Crab? Let's go. Alright, let's see if we can find an exit here quick. Get out of here. 7.10 p.m. Alright, here we go. We are on floor 19 now. So at the very least, should be able to get at the very least five floors done. Eat some of them onions that we found in the forest. Keep the energy up. C 
see you later, man. These guys are very loud. Alright. The meaty boys pop like balloons. Here we go. Amethyst. A little touch of copper there. Absolutely. Definitely one of the longer floors here, but usually in the center of floors like this, you find a decent little cachet of boxes and whatnot. But of course, uh, we have to watch our energy reserves. Let's eat the rest of our onions here. All right. It's a little bit of energy for the old energy bar. Of course, I have those cookies we can fall back on. Alright, some more copper. Just lovely stuff. See if we can get some of this smelted up as well. Man, it's just like, it's relieving when those guys are down because the sound, man, it's, it's just the sound. But this is why you, you typically want to go to the middle unless you're really crunched for time. You get a lot of boxes, you get some good stuff in them sometimes. Alright, let's find this exit now, huh? There it is. Alright, floor 20, we have made it, folks. And we get the, the steel small sword. Let's see. 4 through 8, plus 2 speed. 2 through 5. Rusty, dull, old sword. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely take that. Let's throw this plant fiber away. So I want to do something here on this floor. A definite sword upgrade. So let's fish. Let's see if we can't secure a rare fish here. Got no bait. I wonder, can I craft some bait? I sure can. Alright, that should help the process. All right, let's try this again. Whoops. Got one more cast. Let's go. All right, a whole bunch of nothing. That's all right. We can certainly return. Let's get on back, though. It's getting late. If I have time to grab that leak. Don't really think I have inventory space for it. We could. Do we like that shirt better? No. Plus forty energy for the, for the leak. Very nice. All right, let's get back to the farm. No sleeping outside for us tonight. Let's get a little door closed here.
anything to sell here real quick. If I was bold, I could get the carrots planted, but we're not going to chance it. Let's go to bed. Alright, level 2 mining. Plus 1 pickaxe proficiency, and we can craft the staircase now. So what the staircase allows you to do is just skip a floor, but it costs like 100 stone to make. So a lot of stone. But you could theoretically craft, you know, 100 staircases and just go all the way down to the bottom. But obviously, uh, we don't have that kind of stone. It is a lot of stone. So let's see. We have a massive $50 from a single green bean. Very nice. And day fifth, day 15 dawns here, folks. And let's see, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller, a little extra luck today, okay? Feeding animals. All right, lovely. So our silo is done. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get some copper smelting for sure. All right, quartz goes in there. Get some smelting going on here. I suppose Speed Girl can go right there. Do believe the Cave Carrot? Yeah, Cave Carrot is a bundle item. All right, let's get our watering can. Let's get the animals taken care of here. All right, perfect. Where is my dog? There she is. Hi, Luna. Good girl. All right, lovely. Might as well grab the seed while we're at it, too. All right, do get a carrot there. That's very nice. In fact, carrots are even better than I, than I thought. You tend to find them pretty commonly, it feels like. And I mean, plus 75 energy, we'll, we'll take that all day. So let's hastily get these crops watered up and it, you know, I, th I think for today it's, it's a matter of either back in the mines or perhaps we could try, maybe we get a tool upgraded, get our axe upgraded. We do need an iron axe by summer. So I think getting a copper axe here is probably a, a good move. Yeah, so why don't we get our axe upgraded today and probably head back to the mine. We have a better weapon now. Should go a little faster. And we got to get to level 40 and beyond. Got a nice little butterflies out today. Dog chasing the butterfly. There you go, Luna. All 
All right, what do we have? Looks like these cauliflowers are almost ready. That's good. They sell pretty darn well. well then obviously we want to start, you know, thinking about saving some income for summer. Let's hope this is the last round of watering. Fill in that watering can, folks. That is... <laughs> the real work, if you will. A test of patience. Alright, perfect. We're all watered up. We're looking good. So let's do this. Let's drop off... Well, actually, first and foremost, let's get our carrot planted right there. All right, let's drop off things that we don't need. Watering can. We'll be doing something with those eggs in the near future. I do want to upgrade the axe, so we'll grab that. Drop off the rusty sword. Don't need that. Uh, we can take these cookies. Could also take this river jelly here. Which gives max energy. Has some dandelions. A field snack. We can make two field snacks. So why don't we go ahead and do that quick. Okay. It's a nice little energy boost for us. Um, field snack, leek, carrot. I mean, between all these, we're actually looking pretty good, I would say. I think I'm about good with that. Why don't we uh, just eat one of these river jellies right now? Perfect. All right. Let's get some quartz going as well. All right, to the mines we go. The work has been done. Swing by Clint in the blacksmith here quick. Get the axe upgrading. Then obviously we'll, we'll want to scythe down some grass as well. Create a little path to the south. Hey, what's up, Clint? Can you upgrade my axe for me? Appreciate ya. Alright, let's rock and roll. To the mines we go. Let's see if we can get to floor 30. Should be getting there by about 1.30. So, it's possible. I believe iron starts showing up on floor 40. That would obviously be a pretty nice boost for us. It looks like we have salmonberry season here. This is great. Very great. So I'm thinking tomorrow we can probably hit up the Cinder Snap Forest for a little extra foraging. Here you go, Linus. This one's on me, buddy. All right, let's go. All right, do we catch the ghost fish? Yeah, let's let's try it. There's only one fish you can catch in here. It doesn't show up often. But it's for the community center, of course. And here we go. We're, we're going to have a shot at it.
And there we go. Look at this ghastly thing here. The ghost fish. Just lovely. Alright, down we go. Got a red mushroom there. That is also a community center item. Our new sword attacks a little faster, hits a little harder. Should help us clear these annoying enemies out a little quicker. The luck is a bit better today, too. Which should help us out. All right, let's keep going here. There's some copper. And it reveals a hidden staircase. Nice little note of copper right here. Definitely take all this out. Got the staircase as well. This is lovely stuff. Making good time so far. What's up, meaty boys? Seeing you later. Alright, copper. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a whole bunch of barrels here. This is good stuff. This is cave carrots, stones, mixed seeds. Some wood. What do we have there? A small glow ring. Man, we're getting a lot of glow rings, aren't we? Here's the staircase right here. Good stuff. And we register level 25 here on the elevator, which is great. It essentially saves your progress. Alright, great. Do get the crab there, which is nice. Set a cherry bomb. And the exit is revealed. So let's go. Alright, running low on energy here. Let's pound down a few leaks. Great energy gain on those. The exit is already revealed for us here. This is nice. Certainly take this. See you later, man. Here's one of these super slimes. We get a wooden club. How does that compare? 9 through 16. Very nice. Definitely use that, potentially. That is. A small glow ring. Don't need it. Mix seeds. probably use up this cherry bomb as well but this is an earth crystal it's a good item to find I believe we need those for our mayonnaise machine and, and the club just bashes gonna definitely want to get mayonnaise machine and another earth crystal here this is a good find so we'll grab this and then we'll get out of here Floor 27 down. Got a geode. Yeah, sorry, I, I can't hang around. This area is infested. One hit. That's right. Take that. Boom. Just get pulverized. Got some new ideas to sleep on. Yes, indeed. Another earth crystal there. This is good. We have three earth crystals in the bank. Got some trace amounts of coal. Got a little bit of wood. All good stuff. Got a bunch of meaty boys here and another earth crystal. Oh boy. This is going to get just a bit intense here. 
But our weapon should be strong enough to handle this. See you later, annoying little buggers. A way down has appeared. So that is an infested floor for you. Takes a lot of time. Makes combat kind of mandatory, right? Alright, let's mine this copper here quick. Looks like we have the dark floors here. So why don't I take a torch and what can we offload? Why don't I eat these salmon berries? See if we can get to 35. If we get to 35, I will be happy with that. Come on, Bat. You want some more? Let's go. All right, Bat Wing is actually a community center item. So let's throw down the cherry bomb. Find our way down. These little creeper guys definitely take a few more hits than some of the other bugs that we've seen. About 10 p.m. here. Let's see if we can get two more floors. Let's go. Drop some iron. Alright, so iron ore. Find a lot of unexpected things here. Get rid of this plant fiber, I think. Guess we'll ditch the, the torches. Might not be the best move in retrospect, but... Those we'll find out. Alright. Let's find the way. We've got two more to go. Let's go. There it is. Alright. Level 35. Just lovely. Can we push it to 40? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, take that. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think we're pushing it to 40. But we do have a bit more copper here, so we can close out the day by mining this out. Get back to the farm. All right, let's roll. Running back. A pretty good day in the mines, right? Got down to level 35, got the ghost fish, got all kinds of ore, a few more units of quartz, earth crystals, just good stuff happened. So let's see if we can add to some of our stores here. Throw the ghost fish in there. Earth crystal iron ore going in here. Topaz does not. That'll go in here. 
Bat wing, red mushroom. Bug me can go in here, along with the slime. Uh, we do have carrot seeds that we could get down quick. Watering can. Okay, good deal. Let's get our scythe on. Get just a bit of grass here. Get that refined quartz in the chest. Let's get just a bit of grass for hay. So you can see now when we cut down the grass with our scythe, it does turn into a hay. And hay is good, obviously, because that's what our animals eat. All right, let's get to bed before the unthinkable happens. Juked you out like Barry Sanders there, Shadow Stalker guy. And let's go to sleep for the night. Level 2 combat, plus 5 health points, which is great. We can craft the life elixir now. Would have been nice to get a mining upgrade, but not today. So I think with that, folks, it's a sensible spot to end the episode here. I want to thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. Continue to follow along with this playthrough series right here on this channel. Uh, we're about halfway through spring, right? We're just going to keep on keeping on in this casual manner. Let me know of overall ways to make the playthrough experience better. Be it, uh, do you want longer videos, shorter videos, etc, etc. I think about two days is... You know, about 45 minute, 45 to 60 minutes, which feels like a pretty good length for these videos. But do let me know your feedback. Let me know any other comments or thoughts you might have on this playthrough series. With that said, folks, I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.